the zigzag airdrop is probably going to be one of the biggest airdrops if not the biggest airdrop this year this video is going to be your step-by-step -step guide with regards to how to use the zigzag exchange so that you can obviously position yourself to get that airdrop i'm going to show you everything you need to know so make sure that you stay tuned and obviously take advantage of all the information that i'm presenting to you this video is by no means financial advice i do my own research before preparing these videos and i'll encourage you to also do your own research this video is also not about airdrop hunting however i present protocols to you that i believe are going to be very valuable in the future so the earlier you are in using these protocols you obviously stand a very good chance of accumulating all these airdrops as we've been doing in our previous videos so before we even get started it's very important to have a look at these documentations that were presented by the zigzag exchange themselves this article is about the exchange coins that they admire it's very very interesting i'm not going to go through everything but basically to sum up everything that is happening here Basically, they list all the tokens or all the coins of specific exchanges that they admire or that they are paying close attention to. They talk about the Binance coin, they talk about Uniswap, FTX, uh, SushiSwap. And the most important one or the one that I find very fascinating is the one right here in the beginning. Obviously, we're still going to come to this data over here. And that is the DYDX. If you're not familiar, DYDX was one of the biggest airdrop that happened last year. So in this video, we're going to look at the patterns and look at the similarities with regards to everything that DYDX did. And obviously, all the stuff that ZigZag Exchange is inspired to do with their token themselves. So the very fascinating thing we're going to come to this chart in a moment here because it's also very fascinating but what i find very fascinating is this last paragraph over here and that paragraph says if you are going to take inspiration from one exchange coin in 2022 the example of dydx might offer this as a lesson incentivize the early traders and market makers give them a reason to stick around now let's pay attention to incentivizing early users or early traders and market makers and give them a reason to stick around and that reason to stick around is definitely an airdrop now what do you need to do in order for you to get started before we get to that if we actually look at the dydx which is the token that obviously they draw inspiration from dydx was one of the most successful airdrop last year now if we come here to this chart over here or this data you can see that this is sort of like uh, the percentage of this airdrop and how it happened for users who actually deposited funds to the dydx protocol actually got about 310 tokens and traders who had a trade volume from a thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars had 1163 tokens now if we actually come to the dydx over here you can see that at the peak this in fact it right after launch this token was actually trading at 26 dollars if we exit out of that and actually come back to this data over here you can see that traders who had a trade volume of a thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars had obviously 1163 and if we actually come to the calculator and just take that 1163 and times this by the peak of this token and you can see that is thirty thousand dollars so like i said in this video i'm going to show you everything you need to know step by step so to get started come to zksync.io and actually click on connect wallet basically what you're doing here you actually moving or connecting your layer one wallet which is my ethereum wallet i'm going to connect my metamask and once your wallet is connected you have to bridge your funds from layer one to layer two over here so to do that you just need to add funds now i'm just gonna come here and actually add funds so i'm gonna be moving funds from the ethereum layer one to the layer two i'm gonna put one point um or rather 0 0.14 and i'll add those funds you can see it totals to about 400 dollars and you can see the transaction fee that i'm paying which is about 13 dollars and i'm just gonna go ahead and approve that now this process may take some time from five to ten minutes as we're bridging these funds from layer one to layer two 
now if you actually come and click on the link you can actually see the transaction and sort of like the progress as to how far the transaction is now you can see obviously the transaction has to be 100 percent mine is almost about 80 percent um, then everything is going to be done you can see everything is still pending the amount of fees that i'm paying for gas fees and all that so once that is actually done processing then we can obviously move on to the next stage and now we have successfully deposited our funds from layer one to layer two and obviously this is just one step of the airdrop if you recall in our earlier example that people who actually deposited funds got x amount of airdrop now the next step is obviously to trade on the zigzag exchange so what we want to do in this case is to obviously head over to tools over here and go to ecosystem because now we actually want to go to the zigzag exchange but what we're looking for here is to go to the zigzag exchange i'm going to click on that so if you're familiar with trading on binance or trading on coinbase you will be familiar with something of this nature what i want to do in this case is i want to connect my wallet and i'm going to connect my metamask if you're doing this for the first time it may ask you to you know uh, pay about 15 dollars of transaction fees that's a one-time fee that you have to pay but obviously i have already done that prior to me recording this video so just keep that in mind so this is the actual platform so let's just go over an overview of how does this platform actually work so over here you can see that you've got you know your currency pairs for example i may just maybe move from die to usdc for example but in this case you remember that we're on our funds over here we've got ethereum so what i want to do is come here and just keep it on eth and usdt so i'm going to keep that basically here we've got a spot market a limit order and obviously a market order for here because i already have ethereum you can see that the market is now you know dropping a little bit so what i can do is i can come to my limit orders over here and i can obviously see that the market is trading around about two thousand eight hundred and ninety four dollars so obviously i can come here and i can say hey when the price goes to three thousand eight hundred for example i'm just for the sake of this video um i want to put a limit order then i can obviously say i want to sell 50 percent of my portfolio or i can just slide this over actually let's move to sell so Let's put 3,800 over here and I'm actually going to sell half of my portfolio or half of the funds that I have on my wallet and I'm going to go ahead and click sell. Then I have to sign that within my MetaMask and you can see now I have a sell limit order. So just bear in mind that a limit order is actually an order that you obviously have to set your own ask price. As you can see here that the price is trading around 2,800, but we are saying that when the price goes to 3,800, we wanna sell 0.06 Ethereum. Obviously you can always come here and cancel your orders. You can see now the order is canceled. So if you wanted to sell on the market order, you can just sell here. So to buy, you do the very same thing. Basically, if you know how to trade, this is very much straightforward. So what I want to do in this case is I want to sell a little, just for the sake of this video, I want to sell maybe $100 worth of Ethereum. So maybe let's go ahead and actually sell, you know, half of our Ethereum that we have within our wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And then obviously I'm just going to sell this at a market order. You can see obviously the market is fluctuating, but let's go ahead and sell this. It's not something that I will actually recommend, but you can see that our order is filled, but I'm just doing it for the sake of this video. You can see that our order was obviously filled over here. Now, if we come to our wallet, you can see that we've got 191 USDT. So again, if you want to buy, you can actually come to buy over here and you can always choose a different currency pair over here. But I like to use USDT um, rather than these other stable coins. So that's how you actually trade on zigzag exchange. But obviously you can see that I'm actually trading this on the mainnet. What if you actually don't have the funds? Well, you can actually come here. As you can see here, it says ZK Sync version two is now available on the testnet. So if I click on that, you can obviously now try it out on a test net. Obviously, this will require me to switch my networks. 
you can see that I already have some funds, but the most important thing here is that you need to have a little bit of ETH so that you can obviously pay for those transaction fees. We're gonna dive into more details on the next video with regards to how to get you know, your faucet ready. For example, you can come here and request your faucet and then all the funds will be you know, deposited on your wallet. And obviously you're doing this on a testnet, but also this can obviously put you in a great position of being eligible for those future potential airdrops so now that we actually placed our trade and everything was successful you may be asking yourself how do you actually withdraw your funds back to ethereum layer one well in this case unfortunately i wanted to actually use the hope exchange to actually demonstrate to you guys how you can move from one layer to another but when you actually come to the networks you can see that zigzag exchange or the network is not supported here by the way i'm going to be having another video coming up on arbitrum and also optimism because i think those two are gonna have airdrops as well and they may just be very very big airdrop so be on a lookout for that so to actually withdraw your funds you need to obviously come here to the bridge so basically what you're going to be doing here is to bridging the funds back from your ethereum main wallet so as you can see here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pick let's say usdt but i'm actually moving usdt from layer two to um, layer one and from here i'm just going to click max and then i'll go ahead and do a transaction i wonder how much this is going to cost on gas fees okay it seems like everything was successful it says it can take up to seven hours for the funds to actually reflect on my other wallet and you can see that's how much i'm paying on gas fees about seven dollars not so bad still very expensive but not so bad because i'm now moving from layer two to layer one so that's always going to be expensive so now if you actually wanted to see if those funds have reflected on our wallet we can always come here to coin market cap and obviously add that contract address to our wallet now i'm going to click on my wallet again and you can see that the funds has not yet arrived on the ethereum mainnet so just keep that in mind that it can take a little bit of time before the funds do hit your main wallet so basically we just wrapped up on everything that we wanted to touch on on this video like i said if you actually want to trade this on a test net and you don't have the funds to be trading on the main net you can obviously try to do that on the test net over here and i'm going to make a separate video with regards to how to do that and that video should be showing up on the screen right now but obviously i'm going to make that video once i'm able to get those um four sets with regards to the ethereum test net so go ahead and check the video if it's popping up on the screen i'll see you there goodbye peace